She had this hang over her where she sat every day. This was uh, the all-seeing eye. I mean, it's real clear that there's a you know an all-seeing eye watching over you, protecting you, watching you, caring for you, guiding you. Great art is an extension of the person. You, you can't really distinguish between the artwork or the, or the person. And her artwork was an extension of what she believed. The words that she wrote were the words that she lived by. Her work will forever be relevant and influential because it's extremely authentic and timeless. You're gonna feel something very special. What I truly know about her is my own personal interactions and experiences with her. When I was growing up, her house was a gallery. I mean, it was, it was her chapel. You know, her whole house was, was surrounded by four-leaf clovers. I grew up with a Sister Gertrude in the Ninth Ward. My parents grew up with a Sister Gertrude that was here at Preservation Hall. When I meet someone who really wants to understand what Preservation Hall is, then I really start at the beginning. I start in the 1950s, and I start with Larry Bornstein. Larry would encourage artists to come and paint in this room during the daytime and night into the nighttime. So that was the beginning of the gallery here. He started realizing that artists and musicians all had this kinship. Larry found a way to start inviting these musicians to this space to perform. And this is where I think Larry's kind of stumbled into the idea of Preservation Hall. This world that I'm describing was the world that my parents walked into. Larry would from time to time, or my dad would occasionally arrange recording sessions and help produce projects for different musicians or different artists. It was truth. Let's Make a Record by Sister Gertrude Morgan. It's, it's essentially a photographic recording of this person. I had never heard of Sister Gertrude Morgan until I got a call from the owner of Ropa Dope Records at the time. He's like, here's what I want. I want you to remix this. And, and then here's her artwork as inspiration. And I was blown. I was like, how come I never heard of her before? Stuff's in the Smithsonian and all over the world. You got all power, Lord, Lord. And then I heard her voice, and it just pierced my whole spirit. We treated Recording Sister's album as if she was in the studio with us. I met Ben after we did the record. Out of respect, I want to hand deliver it to him. First meeting him was like, oh man, dad. Like, it was like we're brothers forever. I revisit her work almost every day. I spent a lot of time out at her house after Katrina because it, it was one of the, the houses that had, had been washed away. I would spend a lot of time out there just looking for guidance, you know, that everything's gonna be all right. Coming back here is like, it's peaceful. Yeah, it's meditative and you realize, okay, everything's going to be okay because they're four-leaf clovers that survive. So if they can survive, we're going to survive. Thank you, sister. Amen.
take Jesus? Do you carry him with you? Oh, yes. 